Good morning everyone, it's Matt. I'm down here at the Renaissance Home Design Center and I brought this green and yellow casing in to just check the headspace above to see how much room I had to build a header. But that's what it's going to look like when it's mounted to the wall. And I started do, doing a little distressing on this yesterday, so it's going to be ready to glaze here pretty soon. This is our blue window surround that we did and we are going to be installing it tomorrow and again we'll set up the camera and show you how easy it is to set one of these in place this is a baseboard that i did a while back uh, we're going to be making some samples this is about 18 inches tall and we're going to be displaying that in here and then you can see we have our green window surround that'll be up on the wall for display the red one will and then this is that red window surround with the white crackle finish on it and as you can see we've got that in place and we've made a change we're going to put a window seat below this so it'll be about six feet wide and about 18 inches deep and then this is the blue window surround with the clover leaf design with the bronze colored moldings and it's in place in the window. And then this is that white fish casing, uh, Polynesian style, that's going to be going next to this door. And there's one on the other side, and we'll be making a panel to go above this door. I took those measurements so I can make that. And then this is a real neat look here. This is the, was in a previous video. I think I showed you the um, two different styles that we had here as far as the casings go but this has a beadboard in between with the panels below and it's a real neat look a lot of people have come in here and just absolutely love this and I've got a baseboard for it that we're going to be installing next week and a molding that goes on top of the beadboard so it'll be complete but this this casing here is the fluted one with the dental molding. Those are all individual pieces that that I installed. And Casey and I, um, when we installed this, we timed it. And I believe we were somewhere around a minute, 10 seconds or something like that to put all these pieces on the wall. Both him and I installed them. And he's never seen the process before. And he was just amazed that everything was pre-finished and we installed it all in just a little over a minute. So that's the uh, idea behind the prefabricated window surround. And we might be putting shutters in this. We haven't decided yet. But this is something that you could have shutters in, all prefabbed, and install it in your window. And you've got instant window treatments. Or you can put blinds in it, whatever you want to do. But the shutters really makes it look really uh, estate looking or, you know, informal but elegant. So, these are the panels below. And then again, we have a molding that goes around the base of this. It's a two-piece molding. And then there's a baseboard, that 12-inch tall baseboard, that goes in between the two window surrounds. And it's going to go down each wall. To where the orange wall begins so stay tuned this is the polynesian look again but these are plantons instead of recessed like the other molding so i just did a a variation and that's something i like to do is take one item and make about a half a dozen different variations from it so and then this is our mantle that we had in the home show with our bronze Kleenex cover, our nickel um, cake stand, and then this is a backsplash that we do. Uh, this one's uh, sprayed with iron with a black acid and rust acid treatment to it. Everybody loves this too. Uh, this is something we do in, in uh, bathrooms, uh, powder rooms, kitchens. You could put tile above this or we could you know, make a full height backsplash something we're going to be uh, producing. And then this is our Iron Buffalo. 
windows around and this is like a Mediterranean Tuscan look with a solid wood door. Uh, I'm going to be making a solid wood door with a couple small doors in it so you just open up the small little doors to let a little bit of light in or you can open up the whole door to let more light in instead of just instead of a shutter it has more of a European look to it. So that's pretty much the showroom so far. It is open. People have been coming in. They like it. They're, they are going to be coming back uh, to see more as well as hopefully one day busting a hole in this wall and putting a kitchen in an entertainment center in on the other side with a fireplace. So until uh, later on this week, everybody have a great day and we'll be talking to you later. Thanks.